for nothing, little son. Just like his bloody old father, may he rest in pieces. Well, well, well. If it isn't my dear sweet Alma. Don't you come slobbering over me. I'm busy just now, and I'll tell you another thing. You can tell that bloody great half-witted giant if he brings that motorbike round here again, I'm going to kick him where it hurts. Mum, please. This is a respectable and refined neighbourhood, and don't you bloody well forget it. How can I? When you keep reminding me of it so nicely. Oh, shut up and sit down, or you'll be late for your work. Oh, uh, we, uh, um, we don't have to go back this afternoon, Mum. Eh? You've started another bloody strike, haven't you? Haven't you? You have, haven't you? The men had a grievance, and as they appointed representative, I could not stand by and watch them being ground underfoot. Crap! Mum, please. I am working, eh, for the good of the workers. You oh. never did a damn day's work in your life. You're like your bloody old father. My father was a victim of the capitalist-ridden society. Your father was a victim of a gin-ridden society, and if I hadn't taken in lodgers, where do you think we'd be now? Oh, I pay my way, don't I? Oh, yes, I forgot about that, yes. I've been wondering what I'd do with your four pounds this week. Take myself to the Bahamas, perhaps. If me and my money aren't welcome here. Oh, sit down on your backside and shut up. If you spent more time sitting on it and less time talking through it, we might get somewhere. Now, we've got to feed the poor, bloody hard-working strikers, haven't we? There you are. Cold sausages. What? You're spoiling me, aren't you? Give it to me 15 times in one week. Yeah. I'm in the dining room, Mr. Cook. Oh, hello. <laughs> There you are. Yes. Lunch is all ready. Unless, of course, you want to wash your hands first. Oh, I think I can wait until after. Thank you, Mrs. Pella. Good. You sit here, Mr. Coote. Oh, yes. And I've put a clean napkin in your ring for you. Oh, you're much too good to be, Mrs. Pella. Not at all. I'm only too glad to have a real gentleman in the house for a change. Ah. <coughs> Ever since my poor dear husband passed on, I've missed it, you know. I'm sure you have. <laughs> How's Victor? All right. I've got your favourite today. You have I have. Nice hot steak and kidney pie. Oh, dear, Mrs. Banner. You spoil me, you do. Not at all. Oh, you Pleasure. really do. <laughs>